Hey everyone, I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Scott C Business, and today we're here with Hans Koning from the Digibyte Foundation, and he is the chair of the foundation. We're going to be talking a little bit about it and what it's all about, um, and letting you guys get the inside scoop. So, uh, with n with no further ado, uh, if you'd just like to share a little bit of uh, information about yourself, that'd be awesome. Excellent. I definitely will, Scott. First of all, thanks for having us. Uh, and I talk in the plural, and that's not necessarily the royal uh, plural, but it's more that you know, we are the foundation and we are the community. So I, I tend to speak in a plural every now and again. Um, having said that, um, my name is Hans Koning. I'm from Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I'm 57 years old. Um, and um, I have a background in business management as a, as a consultant. Um, uh, what else? I've been involved in the startup community for about 20 years, and I've only been involved not as a founder, but as a advisor, a mentor, or a coach, uh, doing a lot of judging, uh, speaking, and engaging with, with young kids um, uh, pursuing their, their dreams. Uh, I also speak on conferences and seminars, and recently I am starting, I started. A, a PhD at uh, Free University here in Amsterdam on blockchain governance. That doesn't make me an expert, uh, that does uh, make me someone who's hungry for knowledge uh, in, in a new industry. Awesome, awesome. So how did you originally get involved in blockchain? Well, in all honesty, I have to say via Bitcoin. And I guess most of us got involved in the blockchain via the Bitcoin. And I have to admit, in, in, in 2014-15, I was not not necessarily that much savvy about what blockchain was, let alone what potential it could have for the future. I just saw these, these weird fluctuations of the Bitcoin and that, that yeah, from a startup and investment in, uh, perspective sort of piqued my interest. So that's how I got involved into, uh, into the Bitcoin. Via Bitcoin, I learned about the blockchain. Via blockchain, I learned about decentralization, inclusiveness, uh, immutable data, and the potential uh, it can have uh, as a technology and the impact it can have on our uh, society. And I also have a background in, in, in governance from my business uh, perspective and background. So I sort of combined the whole thing from where does this technology can bring us and having an interest in technology and seeing a huge potential for for decentralization because for me decentralization and blockchain isn't necessarily technology i understand and, and respect and appreciate the technology but it's also more an expression of where we are as a society namely that we're craving for trust and need to have a a replacement of the the classic system of trust that is now sort of coming to an end we see that in the financial markets we see that in politics we see it in journalists we see it in banks so that's sort of how i got started into blockchain and how I uh, ultimately became involved in Digibyte. Awesome, awesome. So for people who don't know what the Digibyte Foundation is, can you give a brief introduction for that? I certainly can. Um, Digibyte Foundation is the foundation of uh, Digibyte. And Digibyte is one of the, the older uh, blockchains around. It started in 2014, founded by Jared Tate. Um, and a foundation is more or less an independent part of the blockchain phenomenon of, um, of Digibyte. And it focuses on promoting and supporting the blockchain uh, of Digibyte and its users. And it wants to stimulate the development and the worldwide adaptation of, um, of Digibyte uh, and its blockchain. And in a way, wants to help and promote and establish decentralization um, as a phenomenon uh, in, in, the, in the current space. So the foundation so still sounds a bit lofty, but from a more practical point of view, we want to empower uh, our users, uh, decentralize the world and empower our community. That's more or less the sum up of what the foundation does. So the development of the Digibyte um, uh, technology is obviously a core focus point of what, what we are and, and, and what we do. And um, we believe uh, from in the Digibyte, Digibyte Foundation 
uh, that the, the underlying phenomenon of decentralization is, is, is an unstoppable phenomenon. And the, the, the recent decentralization train is, is speeding away and, and, and we're in, 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 the, in the first carriage and, and we want to lead the pack and want to lead the rest of the world into decentralization. And the foundation wants to establish just that and help, um, uh, help the community empower themselves. Awesome. Awesome. So um, for people who don't totally know the entire difference between the foundation and the actual uh, cryptocurrency, can you just speak a little to that and, and how and how that's different? Correct. Um, I, I think you, you, you actually addressed quite an important point, uh, Scott, and that's that's decentralization. Um, and what you would normally see, um, uh, let's say, in, in, in a bank, um, they would be one company. Uh, or a company like like Heineken or Unilever uh, that also one company. Uh, Digibyte is is decentralized. That's mean there's no central authority. So the development and the foundation and the coin are in a way separate. Uh, they are connected, but they're not like in a central uh, uh, entity. So the foundation also uh, acknowledges and appreciates that. Um, and we just want to um, um, uh, facilitate the use and the adaptation of what the Digibyte uh, technology actually brings and delivers. Um, so we not necessarily focus on what um, the Digibyte um, blockchain does, although we have a keen interest in its development, but more in its in this perspective of the adaptation and the ultimate use for society for the community. That's where our focus predominantly lies. Awesome, awesome. And um, so, Digibyte has been around since 2014. Why a foundation now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of um, that. That's an excellent question, actually, Scott. Because a, lo a lot of people ask, "Well, shouldn't you have that foundation uh, uh, years ago?" Um, well, y y yes and no. Well, let me firstly address the point why we have a foundation. Because it is important to have a foundation uh, because a foundation serves one specific purpose, and that's that's a community goal. We are not for, for we're not for Digibyte. We are actually for a community that serves it. And we have a non-for-profit uh, aspect within Digibyte and also within the foundation. So that's the specific reason we actually set up um, a foundation. Um, but one of the reasons we, we see the, the foundation growing now is that we also see, it, see us on, on a certain um, a crossroads, uh, if you like, a tipping point for adaptation uh, and adoption of blockchain technology. Um, the past few years uh, not necessarily have been an uphill battle, but there's still a little um, um, resistance and reluctance in a widely adaptation of blockchain and this technology. We now see uh, more or less a tipping point. It's been used in supply chain management, in logistics, in the financial system, in healthcare, uh, in civocracy. So there are a lot of in healthcare and a lot of applications where you can actually use it. Now we see a tipping point that actually does have a commercial application, and it's not just you know a couple of nerdy guys working on a crypto. It's more than that, and much more than that. And that that awareness we now see set set in. So that's definitely a specific tipping point uh, uh, we see. Um, and also, we all um, we we have more applications that actually do something uh, with blockchain and blockchain technology, and uh, that basically gives us momentum that's that's being that's being built, and we want to ride that momentum and facilitate that uh, momentum because that also gives a demand uh, uh, from from our community and we actually want to support that community so we see that that momentum actually building um, and we want to uh, help establish and protect uh, the decentralized aspect of it so that's why the foundation is set up and set up now awesome awesome that makes a lot of sense so is the uh, foundation comparable to any existing or similar projects or foundations out there currently no, no, I, I would find it very hard to, to compare it with anyone. Uh, and, and 
I, I guess you know. I, I actually hope uh, a lot of our viewers uh, are, are trackies like me, and I always like to say we boldly go where no one has gone before, and it, it, it feels a bit like that because decentralization for a lot of people is 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 a concept, it's an idea, but actually working decentralized and living and breathing decentralized is still, I wouldn't say alien, but novel, and uh, so yes. Uh, we do feel that we are um, uh, in uncharted uh, territory. And that also makes it an enormous challenge because how do you organize something decentralized and how do you not step in the trap of actually centralizing it because it makes more sense, it goes faster, it's easier, but you still want to be decentralized. So yes, um, uh, we do see uh, an enormous opportunity for it. and. Um, it, um, it's, it's also interesting and challenging to actually find that way and find that modus in, in, in addressing decentralization. So I cannot compare it with, with anything uh, yet. And moreover, I would, re I would be really, really happy if the concept we are developing would sort sort of become a template or a benchmark for the industry of, okay, guys, this is what you need to do as a foundation. This is what centralization is, decentralization is, and this is how you involve a community. It would be absolutely awesome if we could, you know, lead the community, the blockchain community at large in a way. And I'm, I'm, and I'm definitely not having the ambition, I have the ambition, but I'm not having the expectation we do it right the first time. No, it, it's going to be, you know, a, a steeplechase. You, you fall, but you, you get up and you, and, and you continue. Um, it's, it's, it's an ongoing journey. It, it, it's a learning effect. And, and we like in the foundation, like I say, baby steps. That's how we get there. But there's no one we can actually compare ourselves with yet. And I really, really hope that will change and will change soon. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I think you guys are definitely uh, leading the pack in that sense. And um, and hopefully in the future, when, when new foundations and, th and similar projects start up, they kind of look to you guys as um, someone who's already done it and um, right. can, can learn from your experience and take from that and build upon it. Um, right. So where do you see the foundation going in the next year and then in the next few years? I think the biggest, um, well, our reasons of existence, our raison d'etre is the involvement of the community. So if we would not see the involvement of the community, that would be a big disappointment. So definitely for us is, is community involvement. That is, has to be center stage uh, and that's definitely key. Um, what we also see is, is, is partnership, develop partnership with the blockchain community at large. And we, 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 we are decentralized, but it doesn't mean that we cannot work with companies who think slightly different about decentralization or have a more commercial and, and for-profit aspects than we have. So having partnership, uh, rolling out our technology, our Digibyte blockchain, within the real world with real-time application and use giving uh, user cases for our community that would definitely be very important so partnerships uh, and we start with a few partnerships already via via sponsorships will be very important um, thirdly i think uh, the, the thought leadership and and i i know that sounds a bit pompous uh, in all honesty and that's by far the intention we have not intended whatsoever but we do like to think that we want to have, have, a, have a discussion have a debate about what is decentralization and, and what is this this beautiful gem called blockchain what can we do with it and 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 how do we use it and how do we ensure the core principles of, of the blockchain and I'd, I'd like to see ourselves as a pilot in that uh, so thought leadership would definitely be be a, be a part of that um, and like I said before, I, I also would like to see the Digibyte Foundation come as a, as a benchmark or a standard for the industry in, in, in how foundations and also cryptocurrency foundations ultimately would uh, engage with their community. Uh, and that um, 
and, and, and ultimately that would accumulate and result in, in a meaningful project that actually uses the Digibyte blockchain and actually serves a purpose and gives use uh, to our community uh, and uh, decentralizes the world and empowers the community. So ultimately that would be uh, a great advantage for our users, our community and that's ultimately what the foundation is about because that's one of the things I, I, I perhaps have not fully expressed correctly is that that you know we we are a foundation and we have a board we have a chairman we have a secretary and a treasurer um, but it doesn't mean that the three of us make decisions no we listen we engage with the community and what the community says is actually what the board will decide so we are in that sense a, a fully decentralized so um, the community will be will be center stage in, in all that so yes we are ambitious uh, community involvement uh, partnerships thought leaderships um, setting the benchmark if you like and 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 engage and, and promote in, in meaningful projects for the community that would that would be fantastic if we could achieve that in a few years Awesome, awesome. And um, given that you guys are decentralized and you're working predominantly with other, like obviously centralized projects and, um, and businesses, what are some of the like key challenges you find? And then for businesses who might want to decentralize more, what are some of the benefits that you can share with them to maybe uh, sort of entice them to think more about decentralization and how it could improve their uh, their situation? But, well, well, first of all, uh, in, 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 in that sense, I also think you need to respect other people's choices. Um, and I was reading an interesting article uh, uh, the other day, um, and, and not that I'm forming an opinion or voicing an opinion, but it says that, that the political inclusiveness we see now as a big wave going through our society uh, actually comes with uh, a lot of intolerance uh, from the people who want to be inclusive. And I, I thought that's actually quite an interesting um, uh, statement and an observation from that author. And it also reminded me of, well, I can find decentralization really important, and I do, but it doesn't give me the right to dismiss other people who think differently. So for us, as the foundation, we want to build bridges and we want to engage in an open and a respectful um, um, partnership and hopefully lead by example. So um, yes, we will um, uh, respect other people's opinion and yes, we will try to be the well, the preacher, if you like, and, and, and show what alternatives there could be. Uh, but ultimately, we also want to make sure that we are not merely a theoretical concept, but Digibyte blockchain is a real-time usable blockchain that has real-time and real use cases for its community. And you cannot do that from an ivory tower. Um, having said that, um, some of the challenges I actually see is, is, is mobilizing the voice of the community. And it sounds really simple, uh, but yet that can still be a challenge. Um, so how do you engage with your community? Uh, don't I miss uh, certain voices of certain opinions? Uh, am I open and inclusive uh, to the whole community? That's that definitely on, on top of our mind. We definitely think about it. And, and also, I think you have to be constantly aware of, of, of of the trap of centralization. Oh, it makes sense to do it like this. You know, make a little shortcut. Oh, that makes it a lot easier if we organize it like this. And all of a sudden, you know, you, you find yourself, oh, we didn't want that. And and I remember when I at high school read uh, uh, Animal Farm of George Orwell. George Orwell. And, and, you know, it's all started, oh, we're all equal. And then, you know, uh, uh, all, all animals are, uh, are equal apart from those with, uh, with, with four legs, right? So and it, it already uh, was a slippery slope. And, and the, the road to hell is always paved with the right intentions. But we definitely need to make sure that we resist the temptation, temptations of, of centralization and mobilize the voice of the community. Those are, are definitely two things that are, are, are constantly on my mind. And I think about that every day. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So what are some of the biggest challenges that the foundation has to deal with currently? Well, as, as I said, the, the listening correctly to your community. And one of the things is, 
is voting and and we want to give our community uh, our donors the opportunity to vote uh, on ideas on projects uh, and give them uh, in involvement um, organizing voting decentralized and respecting people's wish to be not necessarily um, uh, identified um, via, via the names or, or addresses. How do you organize it? Uh, how do you mitigate certain risks uh, uh, that are there? That, that's 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 a big challenge for us, and and we have not found the right answer for it yet, or the foolproof answer for it yet. We're going to start with it, uh, and we'll see how it goes. And and as I said, it's like a, a steeplechase. We we definitely will will fall flat on our faces a few times. But you know, it's it's. I'm not ashamed in admitting we were wrong. But as long as we all know that we can do it better, and we we, we intend to do it for the right reasons. So, uh, voting, for instance, is is, is definitely um, um, a, a, a challenge. I I have not, or we have not found a foolproof uh, uh, answer for. Um, if you, for instance, do something fully anonymous uh, yeah would someone be able to do a, th a thousand votes uh, uh, rather than me being honest doing only one vote um, you know how do you mitigate that and and how do you prevent that from happening and how do you ensure that you still observe people's uh, respect people's wish for for, for privacy of not being uh, fully for 100 percent identified so that's that that's a challenge uh, but you know it's it's you can either sit in your thumbs and then come up with with a foolproof plan, and next thing you know, it's 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 2050. Right? Uh, yeah, you 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 missed your point. So we need to start somewhere, and we're jumping in now, and we'll 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 have an open mind, and we we're confident that our community will actually help and guide and facilitate us uh, uh, through this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I I always believe that the best way to start is to start. And um, you kind of find your footing along the way. If you fail, uh, you recover and you just kind of work through all those challenges as they come. Yeah. Um, so how do you see the community growing, evolving and uh, being uh, empowered and represented? Yes. Well, the voting, obviously, I just mentioned is, is, is an important part, uh, part of that. Uh, secondly, uh, we're now setting up an advisory board or we're uh, uh, open for um, uh, applications for people who want to join the advisory board and that would be actually um, we're probably setting up a few uh, ideas in which people are or, or, or specialities or directions people uh, we feel uh, could be of, of, of assistance of help to the community and to the digibyte uh, foundation uh, and we'll actually will let the community decide who we are going to accept within the advisory board. So it will be our first litmus test, uh, if you like, if the system is, is, is going to work. Um, secondly, ideation is going to be quite important. And uh, we as a board like to see ourselves as, as merely the voice uh, of the community. So how do we engage with the community that they come up with ideas of this is what we feel is important or this is what we feel would be a great project for 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 decentralizing the world and, and empowering it as a community or work towards adaptation or do or do outreach. So ideation from within the community is going to be an important uh, aspect. And at the moment, we're also open for uh, for donations. Um, and also sponsorships, and with that, we would like to organize conferences, seminars, events, uh, get-togethers. Because, you know, much as we love being online, there's nothing but see each other eye to eye, and and you know, discuss and engage uh, in in a physical location uh, with each other. You know, as soon as the coronavirus is, is subsided, hopefully, uh, we have some 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 opportunity then to to organize events with our community and and talk with each other and you can hear things from the horse's mouth. They can hear from us and we can hear from them. Um, so that would be an important tool for us in the, um, uh, in the empowerment uh, and the representation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So where can everyone go to learn more about Digibyte and the Digibyte Foundation? Well, we're quite active on Twitter and, and predominantly Rudy Bauman, our uh, uh, secretary and vice chairman, is, is very active on, on, on Twitter. So definitely uh, follow him, follow the Digibyte uh, Foundation. Um, also follow uh, uh, Jared Tate, I would say. 
he's also very well informed and, and a good tweeter. Um, we obviously have our uh, our website, digibytefoundation.io, um, and we got a few Telegram uh, uh, chat groups. Um, uh, so there's lots of w ways to stay involved and stay uh, stay up to date. Um, and we try to post uh, regularly. Um, and we also have actually one thing called the Digi Buzz. Uh, everything we do has to start with Digi because we are from the Digibyte family. Um, so if you want to be a donor, uh, we call you a Digi B. And if you want to hear about what, what we do and what's going on, you want to hear the buzz. So follow Digi Buzz on Twitter with double Z. Uh, so Twitter would be the. Um, the best uh, point of contact and you know the, the community is always vocal on twitter uh love it or hate it but uh, uh, twitter is where you need to go <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely twitter is definitely a love or hate uh yeah. place to be so yeah, um obviously, that... obviously love your uh watch your vlog and that will be the the number one point contact uh, uh, watch your vlog yeah go to scott yeah <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome um so those are all the questions that i have is there anything else that you'd like to share with the community or touch on before we end this off again as i said um we are at a learning curve and an extremely steep learning curve we're going into uncharted territory um that doesn't mean i'm apologizing or excusing myself for mistakes we will make i'm not ashamed of making mistakes um, but please voice your concerns, voice your input, uh, because we as the board are merely the voice of you, the community, and we can only empower if we engage with each other. So um, mobilize the community uh, is something we want to facilitate, but ultimately it comes from you, the community. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on and uh, sharing a little bit about Digibyte. I think I learned something. I'm sure the audience learned something as well. Uh, for everyone watching, make sure to go and follow them on Twitter and check them out. And, um, you know, let, let us know what you think about Digibyte in the comments. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. It was a pleasure being here. All right. Cheers.